Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you on an unforgettable journey to Morocco, where I celebrated one of the best birthdays of my life. From vibrant markets to breathtaking landscapes, I connected with incredible people who made this trip truly special. So grab your passport and let's dive into this colorful adventure together. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button what? for more exciting travels. Do you like the wall mural? Do you like the final result? Nah? It's... N why? Say welcome back to my YouTube channel. What is so special about Morocco and how do I decide on my next journeys? Finally sunshine. It's simply a matter of intuition. For instance, a country suddenly pops into my mind and after a few days of thinking about it, I start meeting people from that particular region. Thank you so much for coming. Before I knew it, I had booked my flight ticket. Then, I only need to do a bit of research to ensure that I not only visit a new country, but also leave my artistic footprint, connect with locals and inspire. Arriving at night in Marrakesh can be quite an experience. I was surprised to see the busy streets filled with people and life even at this late hour. I was quite tired and decided to explore the area the following morning. It was comforting to know that someone had warmly awaited my arrival. I was welcomed by Reda with a local pastry and sweet Moroccan tea. Just a few days before my journey to Morocco, I connected with someone on Facebook named Juliet. She was the one who invited me to stay at the Riyadh Sheikh Haram. After I arrived, I discovered that this incredible Riyadh is truly a gem in Medina of Marrakesh. What is Riyadh Chakram and uh, why it's so unique and different than other places? <laughs> so Sheikh Haram is a home inside the Medina for people who want to experience the real Marrakesh to come and stay with us. So it's a home that Redder and I built together from the ground all the way up. So it was my dream to have a place in Morocco one day and I was lucky to find Reda and he has such a good eye that he made all the design and everything from the local area. So when we were looking for a name, we wanted to have something that would bring a bit of the French and a bit of the Moroccan. So Shay is like Chez Moi, which is my house, and Karam in uh, Darija means generosity. So Shay Karam is like our home of generosity for you. But also, what is Shay Karam spelled the other way? It's Marrakesh from the right. <laughs> so when I chose the name, he was in the coffee shop and he messaged me and he said, oh, did you realize if you look at it the other way around, it's like Marrakesh. Mm -hmm. But I said to him, but wait, there is an R missing because Mar Marrakesh has two R's. He said, the R is me, Reda. <laughs> have two options, right? Because the wall is long, it's either the base color tones, which is more green and orange, or we have more turquoise and green. And I think birds is necessary. Absolutely, absolutely. Birds. Hey, birdie. Hey, I dropped you some crumbs. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yes. You like this one? Yes. <laughs> okay, you, you seem very sure. This one. Okay. Literally this one. Okay, that's good. That's good. He already made his decision, but I'm very curious. <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, this one is without cactus. Nice. <laughs> I think I like this one. Perfect. So that means you're a Kenyan's magic. He also chose it. <laughs> oh, of course, the birds. So yeah, it's lovely. I love it. So tomorrow, yes. <laughs> you will love it. Once we finalized the design, we jumped on the motorbike to collect the materials. It was my first time experiencing the vibrant energy of Marrakesh in the daytime. Can you 
so little by little slowly i'm planting different vegetation over here in the background right here in this crate you're gonna have actually the center of our mural so it's gonna be a lot of flowers leaves and different plants from morocco and around it's gonna be surrounded by cactuses as it's also a very common object of morocco i enjoy the process because it's my first day and i feel like i achieved actually already a lot a big way to go so let's go Good morning, today is my birthday and I decided to start early. It's still dark. A couple of hours before breakfast, I decided to do some progress and surprise the owners. While traveling, I've had the opportunity to celebrate my birthday in many different countries. These experiences can be either amazing or disappointing, but ultimately, it's always up to you. This year, as I turned 26, I wanted to celebrate differently by leaving my artistic mark in the 26th country I visited. I was delighted to discover that Morocco would be the chosen destination. To celebrate, I visited a popular spa known as a Moroccan Hammam. If you haven't experienced this yet, I recommend adding it to your bucket list. My skin has never felt so soft and shiny. After my therapeutic afternoon, I tried vegetarian tagine for the first time and explored the Medina with my host, Juliet. Later, she and Reda surprised me with a customized birthday cake, which was truly heartwarming. Hey, so it's my third day working on this colorful mural while exploring Morocco. So far, I've been able to manage both of the things, enjoy amazing city, also working on the side. So before I arrived in Morocco, I had a really great feeling about this trip. Counting my four day right here, I already have a feeling that I will be back very, very soon. One of the reasons why is because people are very generous and very kind all around i'm looking actually a little bit disappointed and a little bit sad that um, people have a lot of stereotypes before they even went there i'm really glad that i could visit these parts of the world and prove myself and prove the rest of the world that um, things are actually completely opposite than you expected so if you're still thinking if it's worth to visit Morocco, I think it is. I understand that not everyone has the privilege to travel for a long time or to travel more times in a year. But in my opinion, before you go to any country where you've never been before, the greatest advice would be to ask local people or people who've been living in the country for already many years and they can actually advise you from that perspective also focus on good things on uh, you know look the direction where great things happening not where negative things happening and i promise you if you do that your trip will be amazing everyone's enjoying sun everyone is enjoying sun yes it's, your, it's my family. Uh, are you the one who made this? Yeah, look, look I show you. <laughs> Everyone make it. <laughs> Beautiful. I authorize it for you. I want to buy this for my oh, mom. Okay, my son. I love your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Like, does it one thanks, magic thanks? Oh, wow. For what in the al al time, my friend. The people have a miso secret with us. Yeah, it it's, uh, smells uh, very it, sweet. Yeah, yeah, for what it's aquarium. Okay. It's like caramel. Thank you, time. Welcome, my country. I think those a few days were just simply incredible because of the people who surrounding me, because of the environment, of the sun, constant sun in Marrakesh. You know, I feel uh, so blessed because everywhere I look around, 
they are just blessings and I also feel that in Morocco art is highly appreciated so people don't take art for granted and they really appreciate your time they know how much effort it takes uh, they value it and uh, yeah I'm just uh, I just want to express the gratitude for this experience so if you uh, want to experience Medina but also chill and relax from this noisy place I highly recommend Raya Chakram because here um, everyone is welcome as a family member. What else would you like uh, on your holiday, right? You want to feel welcome. You want to feel that you are safe, relaxed and calm and peaceful. So here's the place. This is the place. What's my final word about Raya Chakram, Marrakesh and the entire experience? Let's start by noting that there are always new things to learn. For example, is it not easier just to mix with a spoon? Uh, <laughs> Never no, thought of. Our tradition, we don't use spoons actually. To it's just cup and tea. Yeah. Uh, you mean you don't use spoon to mix? Absolutely not. Oh. It's, so it's just we just mix it with the traditional way, like the old way, you know. So the artwork is finally finished and I am so happy with the result. For some of us, feeling at home in new places can be a challenge, while for others it's much easier. However, one thing is certain, home needs to be felt. That's why I couldn't have chosen a better way to celebrate my birthday than to come here. So uh, as you know, I travel around the world with my mission to leave artworks everywhere I go. Um, but not a lot of people know that I'm also looking for a home. My future vision is to open home or residency for artists like me and who are looking for, you know, place to live and create uh -huh. art. So I always ask the same question for owners of businesses like this. What would be your first advice for people who want to open place like this? For me, I think it would be find somebody who is born here, find a local person who will help you, mm -hmm. who will become part of your family and help. Mm -hmm. Because wherever you go to build a business, if you want it to feel authentic, then it must have the heart of the place. Mm. And this is the heart. <laughs> <laughs> so your advice would be if I opened a place in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. First is to seek for local community yes. who could help around. Yes, with your experience from outside and their passion for inside, inside it's yeah. the perfect mm. it's the perfect recipe. But what about you? Me? What do you think? She just said all, you know. <laughs> Main point it's it's what she said. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. My trip to Morocco isn't over yet, so make sure to return for my next video. Subscribe to my channel and click the notification button to stay updated.